Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am really excited about this video today because it is going to be my first spring haul. So it's finally starting to get warm enough for me to talk about spring trends, spring items, and like my must-haves. And also a lot of you ask me about where I get my essentials, like the ones that last me years and years, and my quality pieces that I love rotating in my closet because they really go with everything. So I have partnered with Gap because that's one of the places that I find I'm most successful in terms of finding pieces that last me a long time and that don't break the bank. This video is actually going to be focusing on like the must-have spring bottoms. So like we're talking about khakis, chinos, jeans, and all those fun things for spring. Because as you know, I am a big fan of pants and I thought that I'd share my favorite picks with you and how to style them for the upcoming months. So let's get going. All right, so first off are these pants. These are their high rise, wide leg crop chinos. And as you can tell, they do sit quite high rise. They hit right like at my belly button, kind of goes over if I pull them up just a little bit. So these chinos actually feel like I've had them for years. Gap is really great with like the heritage details and their washing details because it always looks like they've been worn to perfection and they also feel like they've been made and worn to perfection without actually being someone else's pants that you've borrowed. Plus I'm also really loving the crop style of these pants because it just makes you look a lot taller if you have like a high rise pant and a crop because it just like lifts your whole silhouette up and I'm really appreciative of people who understand how to make someone look leaner and taller without actually having to grow two inches. So I'm really liking this color. This is their classic khaki color, and I think it goes really well with like light denim, a white t-shirt, and I'm also adding a pop of color with these mustard slides. This is definitely an outfit that I'm gonna wear a lot in the upcoming months, I think that it is just so comfortable, but it still looks put together. So when I come up closer, you can see the details of these khakis. So it doesn't have a pocket on the side here. It actually has like a really hidden small little pocket right there that I think is perfect because then it actually keeps this whole area very clean and very lean and it just makes you look taller. Plus the pockets are a little bit, they sit a little bit higher. So it does like make you seem like you have a little bit of a lifted butt if you don't, because I don't really have a vet, so that's fine. <laughs> but it does give the illusion that you have one, which is very nice. And they do come in, in a couple more colors, so I'm going to go show you some other colors. All right, so this is the white pair. It just looks so, so crisp. And they are the same shape as the khaki ones. And then also looks really cute with the light wash denim, too. There's nothing really that says spring as much as some nice light wash denim. This is their Icon denim jacket, by the way. I am seriously quite in love with it. So Gap, as you know, is one of my favorite denim jacket brands, slash denim in general. They have definitely perfected their vintage heritage wash because it looks like I've had this jacket forever and it feels like I've had it forever because it just fits me perfectly. This is a size small. As you know, like my denim is like top priority in my closet and I have been looking for the perfect light wash denim jacket for so long because sometimes they're either too cropped, too bleached, too big, too ripped, but I have officially found the denim jacket of my dreams and this is the Gap Icon one. It's all about the detailing. So they have like the muted silver buttons, little bit of that gold stitching there. It's faded, but not too faded. And then you can tell that this denim is actually just gonna keep wearing itself perfectly. Like it'll fade in the spots where obviously I'm like touching and stretching out, but so it's just gonna keep fading and aging to perfection. So if you're looking for a denim jacket, this is probably my number one recommendation. So next up is a pair of pink chinos. So you've seen the khaki color, you've seen the white color, and now you're gonna see a pink pair. And I know I'm wearing color, like what is going on? But for 2019, I really wanted to kind of step out of my style comfort zone and start to integrate more color. And I think pastels are like a great way to do that. And I'm loving this pink, to be honest. I love how it looks against like light denim. And so you don't have to be like super girly when you're wearing pink because you know, I love my tomboy style. So, but I think pink is really nice on a lot of skin tones. It really like brings out that inner blush, that inner glow on a lot of skin tones. So I'm just like imagining this pink on my skin when I get more tan too. So next up, we are moving into denim. You guys all know how much I love denim. 
These are super fun. I had a pair of like black wide leg jeans before that a lot of you were asking me where they were from. These ones I would say are very, very similar because they do have kind of distressing on the hem. They aren't raw, but they are very like nicely vintage washed and they're super, super comfy. So these are stretchy, but like still look like they're 100% cotton. And I think they're really smart to wear with like a blazer, like the one I got here. This is their super cute black and white like pattern blazer that I love. So as you can see, the wash of these jeans are perfect. So they're almost like the denim jacket in terms of being like a light wash, but like with some medium tones in it, they're not like super bleached. Plus I know you all have been loving the exposed fly and Gab has been adding that into their spring collection and I think that they look so great. Again, it is a high rise, so it's sitting like right on my belly button, which is right there. So they have a plain back pocket again, which I love. These are definitely a great option for your spring denim if you're looking for a pair that's lighter and a slightly different style than your skinnies or your mom jeans or your boyfriend jeans. All right, so let's talk about this blazer because I know I'm gonna be getting a lot of questions about this. I'm wearing size zero in this and I'm obsessed. So it's like super stretchy and it does hit like just, I guess like right below the butt. I am loving it because it's just so comfortable. It's fully lined inside, which is really important for blazers. And you can see the detailing of the pattern. It looks so luxe. And then it also has like these hidden pockets. All right, so when it's done up, it looks like this. This gives you like the perfect, almost hourglass-like shape. And it dresses up a denim really nicely because it is not like your classic wool or silk blazer. This is almost like a casual, to business casual blazer, I'd say, because it looks just so good with denim. And then unbutton, layering it with a t-shirt underneath, you've got my classic go-to casual but put together look. All right, so next up are a pair of skinny jeans. These are their true high rise skinnies and these ones also have an exposed fly. So they're basically like the skinny version of the wide leg ones you just saw, but I'm loving Gap skinnies because they are so comfortable, but they don't look like those like truly spandex jeans. So it is really hard for me to find comfy skinny jeans because I tend to like 100% cotton jeans, but these ones look like 100% cotton, but they are really, really comfortable. Like you can really just do whatever you want and go wherever you want, walk, hike, whatever, and I will still, and I would still be comfortable in them. So I have rolled them up. They are a raw hem underneath. So I will probably be cutting them to about this length that I have rolled them up to right now. But I wanted to show you guys what it looked like when it was rolled up. So I actually do quite like them when they're rolled up like this. But I think that in the summer, especially when I'm wearing like sandals and like wanting to show off more of my ankle, having a raw hem will just be easier. So maybe I'll use this as my tutorial to show you how to cut jeans. But yeah, these ones are super comfy. They are like a slightly darker, than the light wash jacket, as you can see. But that's how I like to style my denim on denim. I always like to make sure that the bottom shade is a little bit different than the top shade. Sometimes if you have like a complete matching denim set, then I'll wear them together. But if they're from different brands or if they're from different collections, then I usually tend to try to separate them so that it gives your outfit a little bit more depth. And these really cute booties are also from Gap. All right, so this is how I would style the skinnies another way with like an oversized flowy button up shirt. I threw on the mules again and I think it's a really fun spring outfit. A thing that's really cool about this shirt, it can change shapes. So right now it's just buttoned normally and you can see that it billows really nicely everywhere like around. So just like a lot of great movement. And this is another way that you can actually wear the shirt. So I just like basically crisscrossed it. I'll link all the items below and so when you click on the shirt, they'll show you like a whole couple photos and a video of how it looks when it looks like this. It just basically gives you the option to have a fitted button up and not have to have like two different shirts in your closet. So this is probably like one of my favorite pairs of pants. I know I've been saying it about them all because it's true, I can't choose a favorite, but these are really, really good because these are their high rise best girlfriend jeans with a raw hem. So they are like high rise, obviously, but they also are super comfy. So they are not 100% cotton, but they look like they are. I'm gonna show you the details in a second. 
They are like the perfect crop, so they fit right on top of like these boots. So I think it looks so good with the white t-shirt and then a pair of like leopard print boots at the bottom. There's something really like classic but also grungy about it. It's like the perfect mix of every style I like. So a girlfriend jean shape like can mean so many different things, but for the Gap girlfriend jean, it's almost like a mixture of like a mom jean and a boyfriend jean. It's like they had the perfect baby and that's what the Gap girlfriend jean fits like. It's so comfortable. It's like a jean that I would like gravitate towards most days, especially if we're running late or just running errands. Cause you don't want to wear skinny jeans every day, you know, and you don't want to wear like super high rise tight jeans every other day. And these are like the perfect go-to jeans. And I am so, so happy about them. So this is what they look like up close. You can really see the gorgeous wash of these jeans and they are going to just be better with every wear. And I'm so excited about that because that's what the true test if like a jean is a good jean is like, will they be better in a year? Will they be better in two years? And these jeans definitely will be. They are a zip fly, which I actually don't mind because of the shape of these. So normally you'll see like a mom jean be really, really tight up here. But these ones being high rise, they actually do like come out a little bit more. And I think it's because it's like a girlfriend jean, so they're slightly more forgiving. And I'm loving the fact that they almost look gray. Because it's like such a vintage wash. Alright, so last but not least are these awesome white jeans. These are like, I would call them straight leg. They're almost skinny on me. It just depends on like the shape of your leg. Like, the model online, it looks more of like a straight leg, but these ones fit almost like a skinny for me. But because they do have this like split hem at the bottom, the leg does go a lot more straight than it probably would if it wasn't split. <laughs> and it also has like a really fun little like dart all the way down. So it gives this normal white jean a lot more interest. And I think that this could look so cute in the summer because when you think about like all the sandals you want to wear, like they usually kind of come up to the ankle and some of them even wrap. So like imagine if you had like wrapping sandals that like you could actually even show off with this split here. So these are high rise, which is really hard to find. I actually find it really hard to find high rise white jeans and these ones are true high rise. I will always tell you if a high rise isn't actually high rise because sometimes they're more of a medium rise, but all the ones I've tried on today are like a true high rise, like touching the belly button. So you'll feel like super comfortable if that's the type of style that you like. I do really like them with these yellow mustard mules. I'm so obsessed with these shoes. I'm really, really excited to wear them when there's no more snow on the ground. So another thing I love about spring style is that you can really bring in more whites. And I love the mix of whites and denim and really light colors, because I'm getting into that, you know? I chose to keep the shirt black because it just I didn't want too much white and I think that it looks a little bit better if you have like a darker top so the pants stand out so much more. So just going to show you the dart that I'm talking about. So there's like the seam that comes all the way down, like all the way down to where the actual split hem goes. And this split hem, that's how wide it is. And it also gives you a lot of room because if you are shorter then you can also like crop them or like get them tailored and you'll still have enough room and still have that slit to show off. And lastly, before I finish the video off, I wanna talk about these t-shirts that I've been wearing with every outfit because I know you guys will be asking. This is the black one. Obviously I was wearing the white one before. This is the Gap Vintage Boxy Tee and it is perfection. It is like the name says, it's vintagey feeling. It's like a super, super soft material. It's cotton, but it's not thin. I do have some like vintagey thin, shirts that don't last at all, but Gap shirts are like one of the best basic tee brands that I have ever had. Like they last forever and I'm really loving this shape. It is a shorter sleeve than I normally wear, but I am loving it for spring and summer. So definitely check it out if you're looking for some more tees. And that's a wrap. I'm really excited. I don't know if you can tell, but that was like my first time trying on full spring outfits and I am just beyond excited right now. I hope that you're excited too. I hope that this haul helped you. I'm really excited about all my new Gap pieces. As usual, I will link everything below and please leave me any questions about size, fit, styling, whatever. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you like the video, leave me a thumbs up slash like. And if you want, subscribe to my channel. And I'd love to see you on Instagram, so follow me there too, and I will see you so soon.